you're right there, Mark here, going over a discussional video of why I think 3D printing is exploding the way it is in this community, especially in Warhammer. Now, it's a controversial um, thing. You know, whatever I'm going to say here, people are either going to love it or hate it. it. It is what it is, all right? So, yeah, this is like take 50 at this rate. Um, because I don't want to end up sounding like I'm rambling. Alright. So, one of the easiest things of why is exploding so much is the internet. You've got so much information out there. You just type in 3D print and Warhammer and there you go. There's a bunch of stuff popping up. Like, if you are struggling on a certain thing with 3D printing or knowing about it, you can look it up. Okay? That's category A. That, that's tick A. Done. Um, second thing that is most likely helping it explode is the, the entry point into 3D printing is dropping by the week or month. It's just the technology... Of getting into it is getting more and more accessible. Okay. Something I learned in my engineering and stuff like that. And my social studies and so on and so forth. Is the more a technology is being used. The quicker it expedites its development. Alright. Don't look back too long ago about mobile phones. Computers. Game consoles, te you know, just technology in general. Because it gets used so often now, that X technology is being used so much, its technology, its development gets sped up. Um, the 3D printing technology is phenomenal what it can do now compared to two years ago um, for the average person to buy into it let alone what's behind closed doors for firms and industries and stuff like that. That technology is phenomenal. But more and more of that stuff is coming out to the general public. Um, it's making it easier. It's not foolproof, but it's making it easier for the general public to print out models that they look like the look of. Um, see... You know, third, people love customising their Warhammer experience, right? So, I'm not saying Wargaming, because this is more towards Warhammer, of why I think it's exploding more noticeably in Warhammer, okay? It's definitely in Wargaming, like for other game systems and stuff like that, but Warhammer is really exploding. Because people want to customise their stuff. People want to have custom forces. Custom space marines. Custom uh, imperial guard. Custom elder. Whatever race it is. You want to have something special. You can find. You could probably find something very close to it now. Um, because of the internet and stuff like that. And because you or a friend of yours or someone that you may know may have access to 3D printing, you kind of go, oh, by the way, I'll throw you a couple, you know, a couple quid. Can you print this out for me? Done. I can now put that into my force and make it very unique and make it special. Gone are the days of you waiting for Games Workshop to produce that customization thing that you wanted. Gone are the days of you needing to learn how to sculpt with green stuff or milliput or plastic card and stuff like that. It's still a great skill to have, but if you can, if you just struggle to do that, 3D printers going, don't worry, I'll, you know, I'll hold your beer. It, you know, here's some files. Do they fit the bill? Yeah, cool, done. Um, fourthly, because of the internet and the desire of people wanting to have these uh, proxy models or conversion pits, ex gaming accessories, face toppers, 
God, we all know what's out there. So many firms and designers are now popping up that go, I can design this proxy range for you. I can design these customization bits for you. I can do this. I can do that. And they're just popping up left, right and center. And now some of them are getting so well known in this ever-growing community that when you see um, conversion parts that have their hallmark of their design, you know who made that, which is really, really interesting. Um, you just know, oh, that looks like such and such. And the person goes, you know, on Facebook or Instagram or wherever you show your photos, you go, yeah, it was such and such because you can tell the hallmarks. And it's just growing. Um, as I said, you, you, there's um, other people now that have grown an online presence through social media for just showing 3D printing content. You know, they, they, they do it because they enjoy it. And there's other people that were already established and they've done a few videos on 3D printing. Um, another point of view, this is where it's subjective, depending on where you live in the world and your own situation, um, you may not be able to get hold of Warhammer as easily as you may want to, whereas 3D printing some file, 3D printing some models that you can play with is viable, all right? You may be able to just get hold of the rule book or rules, whatever, you know, dice, so and so forth, and you can play. I know full well myself, I could I could print out a full proxy army, which I have done, videos on the channel, of fantasy dwarves. I do need to get back on that project at some point. But yeah, that's just me personally. I know there's many, many other people out there that have done this, and... Yeah, that, I think. And then they show it on Facebook. They show it on Instagram. They show it on YouTube. They show it Twitch, wherever. Social platforms galore. And people are like, holy smokes, that looks so cool. There you go. Gets the ball rolling. And it is, it's phenomenal. Because it's really exploding the creativity in the community. Um, you know, you... People want their stuff to look unique and special. If you got X Force and you're playing against someone who plays the same X Force, but your force looks different, there you go. It's yours. It's unique. It's your own. Um, there's also like, it's not just miniatures and customization picks and proxies you can print out. There's cosplay stuff that can get printed out. There's statues that can get printed out and bust. There's so much stuff that's just blowing stuff out the water now. Compared to what it was back in the day. God, I feel old. You're not waiting for some cast to be made and sculpt and a resin or plastic or metal kit to come out. If you find a file and it's reliable and you like the look of it, cool. Click, buy it, download it. Send it to your mate that's got a 3D printer. You, as I said, throw them a few quid or whatever you agree upon. Cool, here's a pack of beers for this or whatever, all right? You now have your model. Like, come on, look at that. Imperial Guard style ducks. Where would you have got that before? You'd be waiting for it to be in production. It is phenomenal. It is absolutely phenomenal. And it just blows so much creativity out there. Um, and there's so many different avenues you can go through now to find files. Um, my Mini Factory, 3D Cults, Thingiverse. It, there's so many. So many out there. And the technology is just growing. Um, the controversy comes from... How, because it's Pandora's box and the technology is getting better, how close do you get to the authentic thing? 
I'm not touching that in this video. I'm not touching that at all. I'm going more on why I think it's exploding. Because for some people, the finally, I would say sometimes it's the cost. For some people, it's cheaper to just, if you've got the space and the know-how and the willingness to learn it and being safe with it, it's cheaper to buy a 3D printer, get all the setup, all your PPE, all your materials, learn how to make it work, buy the files or whatever, and print out your own force to play, to paint, to play with, than it is to get hold of the real thing. It's just cheaper. Okay, that that's a real thing. That that is subjective. You know, if you. You know, it depends on your time, worth, and stuff like that. It, it is what it is. But that is another factor. And other extenuating circumstances as well, which is quite a large one now for Warhammer, is Warhammer Fantasy. Um, I think I've done a video of this in the past, where people struggle to get hold of said models from Games Workshop. Because it's out of production or it's out of stock for an extended period of time because they're struggling to stock it or whatever. It's too popular. It sells out quicker than they can produce it or whatever. People are like, well, I really want to play with this. Cool. I'll print out X proxy. I'll print out this. I'll print out that to play with this. I want to play it and I don't want to wait around. Or I don't want to pay eBay prices and stuff like that. That's a thing. Um, printing out terrain. Is another thing with FDM printing. Terrain, big terrain is great on FDM printing. Conversion parts and stuff like that is great on resin prints. I I will say right now, I don't think at this moment in time, for the foreseeable future, I don't see 3D printing replacing OG Warhammer. I don't see it replacing plastic resin metal games workshop product i don't see it replacing it before anyone jumps in and goes oh my god are you saying it's gonna no it's not I, I don't see that any time right now but i am saying it's gonna keep growing the community around it the demand behind it it will keep growing and it's gonna be interesting to see how it keeps growing but i'm gonna leave the video there um, I am planning on doing more 3D printing videos in the future on different aspects of it. But if you have enjoyed the video, please like and comment down below if you've 3D printed stuff yourself. If you've got some of the 3D print stuff for you. If you're looking at 3D printing, comment down below your experiences, maybe good or bad. You know, I'm not saying this is... Uh, a magical bullet it's going to solve all your industries but uh solve all your issues sorry but it is definitely a pandora's box we cannot close the door it's going to be interesting what the future holds for it and just be civil in the comments i i i, I know this can rile people up 100 percent. but anyway uh, the video is getting on now i don't want to bore you all out your mind but yes, thank you again for watching. It means the absolute world to me. If you're not already subscribed, please click that subscribe and click that bell notification. You'll be notified of when I'm next streaming and um, videos. But anyway, take care of yourself. Take care of your loved ones. And I hope to catch some of you, if not really, in the next one. Ta-ra for now.